This land is your land, and this land is my land, from the California to the New York Island. I'm Ford Gibbons from NBC, and welcome to the first ever Democratic primary debate. And I'm Hans von Kallenborn of CBS. We're here to introduce you to the candidates, their policies, and their goals of any potential of their potential administrations. First off, current governor of New York, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Normal is that, Mr. Governor? Welcome, Mr. Roosevelt. Great to meet you. Great to be here. Everyone welcome former governor of New York, Al Smith. Next, James Hamilton Lewis of Illinois. John Nance Garner, Speaker of the House from Texas. Finally, William Murray, Governor of Oklahoma. Welcome, Governor Murray. I'm glad to be here. Our first question of the night is going to be directed towards Governor Murray. It, there have been reports of you overusing the National Guard. What would you say to this? Well, you see... You, you can't call in the National Guard on Gibbons if that's what you were thinking, Mr. Governor. No further comments. Alrighty then, our next question is for Governor Smith. Smith, you lost the 1928 election in a landslide to President Hoover. What makes you think this time is going to be any different? Well, you see, if the economy and depression, I think I'll pull ahead of Hoover this time. Fair enough. Senator Lewis, you faced allegations in the past of being pushed by the mayor of Chicago simply to pre prevent Roosevelt from being nominated. What do you say to these allegations? Well, you see, I... I, I, I I am not a candidate being pushed by the rich and powerful. Riveting as usual, Senator Lewis. Congressman Garner, the next question is directed towards you. Your ties to yellow journalist William Randolph Hearst are well known, yet you've not denounced his methods. Why is that? Because I'm willing to make any sort of backroom deal if it means I can get ahead in politics. Well then, Governor Roosevelt, your political comeback in this past eight years have been quite remarkable. Your political opponents have risen up saying that you are pushing a radical agenda. How do you think you're going to pass this agenda with all your political opponents opposing you at every step of the way? See, the American people have noticed how terrible the economy is doing. American people want more government. America needs more government. Thank you, Governor Roosevelt. Now, yep. a question for all the candidates. What would you do in terms of civil rights for minorities in this country? As a Catholic myself, I see the need for all Americans to be treated equally. We should focus more on the American people, but we should also focus on economic discussion. That's why my programs will help out these Americans. Mr. Roosevelt, you're getting off topic. Senator Lewis. I'll do whatever the Mashiach American people want of me. If they want equal rights, I'm all for equal rights. You know, there's no problem in America that can't be fixed with a couple of shady deals and backroom offers, and I think civil rights is no exception to that rule, sir. As a firm believer of states' rights, I... A state's right to do what, Governor? Well, I... Never mind. Before we end the debate, I'd like to have closing statements from all the candidates in order of entry. I'm going to give these American people a new deal to save them from suffering. I'm going to do exactly what Roosevelt will do, but I'm going to make drinking alcohol legal again. I'm from Illinois. I'm gonna make all sorts of shady deals and backroom maneuvers, and that's gonna make sure the economy recovers. Bread, butter, bacon, and beans. You said that your whole campaign, but what does it mean? People wanna eat, I'm gonna let them eat. Why did we ever invite you to this debate, Governor? Why did we invite Lewis as well? Your favorite son candidates. You're here to win one state, your home state, Drop out. You had nothing to do with it. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey, diddle, diddle, there's milk.